So remember what we're doing here is we're going probably over a spandex rather than over a t-shirt, although for practice purposes we'll just do that. And if I'm rotating him this way, okay, his thumbs this way, then this is the direction we want the wrap to go, right? So all we do is just start that way. And we're going to get a starting one or two times around, and then all we're doing is we're coming around the chest, coming up and under, and the supportive place is right up here on the top. Coming around, and then come again. And you do a minimum of two times around the chest. If you can make it a third time around, and you think you have enough wrap, go ahead. In this case, I probably don't, so what I'm gonna do is just finish off right here. Hold that for me, Mr. Model. And then all I'm gonna have you guys do is just tape it down so I can check it. So here's what I'm looking for. Okay, turn around. Okay, I'm looking for it's nice and flat across the back. Come back. Nice and flat around the front. Okay, so it's not all rolled up. And the coverage is a large distance. Sometimes when you guys are practicing, you guys are just keeping the tape all right here. Okay, we need it down low and we need it up high, up on the trap for this to actually do the job we want it to do. Okay, questions on that one? So direction, coverage, and know, the, know the, the technique. And the technique is basically a spike up. It's around the arm, around the chest, around the arm, around the chest. Okay? So you play that rest of the game. No, just go take it off. Okay. Can I uh, use your foot? We're going to do an ankle. Okay, we've already done the ankle. Okay, you'll do a foot too. Um, we're going to tape his ankle. So if you want to get where you can see on this one, this is definitely a tape job that you'll be expected to do. You and your partner. Just sit right off the edge of the tape. And tape yourself. Can you guys see from where you are? Because you're welcome to move if not. Or you're just that confident that you know this tape job. You've probably done this one the most. To drop this one off the table so people can see. Okay, our position is a 90 degree angle. We want the foot back, right? It's your job as a person taping to tell them how you want them to hold their foot. All I'm looking for when I grade for this, we're not going to use heel and lace pads, we're not going to use spray. I'm going to look for good coverage of the pre wrap. Don't want any gaps, and we don't want it rolling. We want a pretty thin layer, okay? And how high do we go? Anybody know? Face to the calf. Yep, face to the calf. Or sometimes if you're one of those really tall guys, it's got a calf way up here, keep the length of the foot, and that's how high you're going to go. Okay. By the way, is there anyone that's going to challenge the A time for the ankle? Because if so, today would be a great day to do it. Think about it if you want to challenge it. Tatum's thinking about it. The shape? <laughs> You're going to put the thumb, like just put it right on the thumb and just go everywhere? Okay, two circulars at the top. Now, the thing about the tape job for the ankle, and the way I kind of see it is as long as you get all the steps, it's okay if you get a few out of order, as long as the steps are done properly. Okay, and where do I mean? Like, for instance, an automatic fail on this would be doing your stirrups backwards. Why? Because that's going to injure someone versus prevent a problem. Okay? So when I say backwards, the correct way is from inside to out, pulling in that direction. Now we're going to do two to three of these depending on the size of foot. Now for his foot, I'd probably go to three. Okay, next, figure eight. Come around and then drop down around the arch and then back around to finish our eight. Okay, circulars from bottom to top. Another automatic fail would be going top to bottom. Always want to go low to high when you're taping for circulation purposes as well as to make it lay correctly. 
So I'm doing a low C, I'm doing a middle C, and I'm doing a high C. You only need one figure eight. Yeah, you only need one to two figure eight. So if you do one, it's fine. If you do two, it's fine. Okay, so we're done with our circulars. What's last? Heel Right, heel locks. Okay, these I'll give you a little bit of leeway with. I don't care really how much they, or how they look, but I do really want you to know, like you know where you're going with it. So if you're doing the, let's see, what do I do? That's probably not going to bode well. You should be ready to just get in there and go on top, under, behind, on top, under, behind. That's one on each side. On top, under, behind. On top, under, behind. Finish it off for two on each side. And then I will actually go and I'll look and make sure there's two on each side. Okay, and then last, a nice circular. I like to do two around the bottom, but you only need one. Okay, nothing new, different there. Thank you. I want to do my long arch. Next is a long arch tape job, our favorite. I'm going to kind of help you with a few things that I saw that may have caused issues for you guys. Um, mostly it's the splitting the tape that tends to give you some problems. And remember, we're going to split the tape in the thumb also. So I'm going to try and give you a couple of hints that will help you with that. So what was the long arch used for? Who remembers? Plantar fasciitis, arch sprains. Extreme issues with shin splints when we need alignment assistance. Okay, so on this one you're going to pre-wrap again to be nice, although we can do it on the skin just as easily. And all I'm looking for is thin coverage. Okay, so uh, another thing I'm looking for when you tape is your body positioning. Does it do me any good to stand up here when her foot's way down there? Not really. So you really want to get yourself in a line with what you're doing. So first thing we're going to do is start with one C, because it's not going all the way around, just to start us for our landmarks. Then we go to the teardrops. This is where you guys have some issues with this tape kind of being so small and trying to maneuver it where you have trouble. So here's what I recommend on these. Get the tape pulled out quite a bit. Start big toe. Come behind the heel. Look at where I'm hitting on the heel. And then come back to big toe. It's almost like a slanted teardrop. Okay? So that's number that's one. Then I'm gonna go little toe to little toe. Okay, bye. Okay, then we're going to go big toe to big toe. And the problem I've seen is you guys coming too low on the heel. So when you try and come down here, it's not going to lay, it doesn't have enough surface area. It needs to lay somewhere nice and flat. So that's why I come a little bit higher on the heel, like right about there is good. Okay, and that was three times, so time to go to the other side of the tape. And notice I'm almost on the side of the foot over here. Instead of going little toe right underneath it, I'm on the side because I know I want to get behind the heel. So now I'm going little toe, back to little toe. Big toe, last one. To big toe. And little toe, back to little toe. Changing my coverage, I have a nice band out X. Could you lift it so people can see it and just kind of take it? Do the little, you know, around. There you go. Watch your phone now. Okay, so now we should be back to a normal roll. I'm close. Okay, who knows? No. Who knows what's next? Circulars? Or I mean, the, the C. Straight. Long strips. This is another area you guys, I saw a few times you guys forgetting these. This is just making a layer of support before you put your C strips on. So I'm going from the outside to the end, although you can go inside to out, doesn't matter. It's just a nice layer of 
support. In this case, three is probably enough. Okay, now the C's. We're supporting this side. So as I pull, you know, I'm giving a little bit extra support on that side for the arch. Okay, then we go to the top. It's a sock. This is called the long arch. Long arch tape job. Does it matter like where you start for the top? Good question. Um, no, it really doesn't, but I try and get down about as low as I can where it's not going to jam on her um, when she flex. Okay? Questions on that one? Okay, what's last? Thumb. I'll be a thumber? Why don't you, yeah, stand like that and just put your thumb kind of right there. Okay, body positioning on this one, again important. You want to be at the level of where you're taping. If they're sitting down in a chair, you need to get them up or you need to get down to where you're taping. Thin layer of pre-wrap. Starting at it. The wrist coming up, you can go up and over the thumb, you can go around the thumb, whatever you want. Now this is not going to be combined with the hand tape job like we did last time. This is going to be just the thumb. Okay? So, the way we start this one, just to be smart, we're going to do a little bit of a landmark down here. Alright, so we're going to half our tape again. We're going to do a total of four of these. You can start on your landmark, come up and around the thumb, and I'm standing over here so people can see, not because it's the best place to stand. So that's coming around once. You can tear it or just keep going. Let's keep going. And that's twice. So I'm going to come around and tear it. Go to the other side of my tape. Exact same starting point. And I'm just looking to go a little bit lower maybe once. And back a little higher. Okay, comes back to full roll. Yes. Do you have to start on the outside when you do that? So start on either side, whatever you're more comfortable with. Okay? I like to start on that side. It's just the side I've always started. I don't know why, but I just do. So now we've got to start low and work our way up with circulars up the wrist. And you really need that much wrist support because as you do this, that part of the thumb needs to be held down. That part of the tape job needs to be held down. Okay, so looks like this. Notice how low on the thumb I am here. That's another area of mistake I, I notice you guys are doing. You're not getting as low as possible. Yes, it's hard to direct the tape when you go lower, but do that because you need that low coverage. And then we're just going up. We don't want to go past the, the distal joint, okay? So we're just gonna, we're gonna stop here. And so we have uh, a nice freedom of bend there. Questions on that? Okay, how about other questions about the lab? It's pass, no pass. So you'll get one attempt at each tape.